Like so many dietary supplements, patients are looking for something to help their health. And so they're reading about over-the-counter enzymes as one of those many dietary supplements, and all of a sudden we're seeing sales go through the roof. So if you look at some of the bold headlines on dietary supplements, you know, use our enzymes, we can help prevent cancer, or this is, you know, cancer is because you have low enzymes. There's probably a grain of truth in a lot of the advertising, but it's hyped and it's made to sound uh, unbelievably good. As soon as you hear those types of hypes, those types of overblown uh, promises, it's time to step back and say, wait a minute, what am I investing my money in? And then it's a good time to do a little research, and then it's even a better time to go and talk to your physician and have that one-on-one -on -one discussion. Here's what I'm thinking about. Are there risks? Are there interactions with my medications? Is there a reason I can't try this? And then if I'm going to try it, how do I know I'm getting into trouble? Help me follow up. As we age, most of us have some trouble with digestion. And so it's not unreasonable to suggest maybe there's something out there I could take to help with that. And there's at least some reasons to think that maybe we don't make as many enzymes as we age. So it's plausible that if I took more enzymes, if I took some bromelain or I took trypsin as an added or as a supplement, it might help me digest better. The trouble is there's only one study that looked at that kind of question and it wasn't with the over-the-counter enzymes, it was with a prescription enzyme supplement. So we just don't have the data to be able to turn to our patients and say, no, it doesn't work. Yes, it does work. We're stuck. There's a couple things to think about in terms of risks, one of which is bromelain, which is pretty popular. It's the enzyme from the pineapple. It may have some antiplatelet activity. So if you think of people who are taking drugs which are blood thinners or are already doing antiplatelet activity, at least theoretically, there could be an increased risk of bleeding. So I think that's a good one to kind of watch out for. Fortunately, for most of the over-the-counter enzymes, unless you're doing super high doses, the risks are pretty minimal. Uh, some people get GI upset or some irritation. At very high doses, they can, they can be dangerous, but for the most part, it's probably not a horrible thing to try. And so I'll have that conversation with my patients. If they want to try enzymes, I want them to understand the risks, the potential benefits, the limited amount of evidence. And then if we're going to use it, I'll try and do it in a short trial period. Use it for two or three weeks. Do you notice a big improvement? Doesn't mean it works, but it means maybe for you it's something you might want to continue with. If it's not working, don't just keep taking more and more and hoping for something magical to happen.